Hello all, in this video we will see about important questions from pharmacology which is basically based on previous year questions from the University of Tamil Nadu, Dr. MGR University. The questions will also correlate with other university questions. So other university people can also refer to this collection of uh, pharmacology questions. And the books which I re prefer for learning for uh, dental pharmacology and pharmacology for dental students include a uh, uh, book by Badmaja Uday Kumar. Uh, and book by Tara Shenbag and also book by K.D. Tripathi. Uh, these three doctors have given a very good collection of um, uh, points for uh, pharmacology for dental students. And if you have any other books for reference, please mention in the comments so that others will also know about it. So moving on to the important questions. Uh, the, starting with the general pharmacology. Uh, you have to learn about various routes of drug administration. Uh, it includes oral route, the advantages and disadvantages of oral route as an essay it can be asked and also about IV route. These two are the main uh, uh, two routes of administration though you should also know about all the other routes of administration also. Special drug delivery system has also been asked as a 5 mark question. You should also know about factors modifying drug action, uh, biotransformation, what is it? and its application, biological half-life, uh, microsomal enzyme induction, uh, synergism, uh, similarly antagonism, drug tolerance, adverse drug reactions can be has asked as an essay, teratogenicity, tachyphylaxis can be asked as a 5 mark question or short notes and iatrogenic diseases also should be known. Moving on to the next chapter, ANS, Autonomic Nervous System, uh, which includes parasympathetic and sympathetic nervous system. Broadly, you need to know about cholinergic drugs, anticholinergic drugs, adrenergic drugs and anti-adrenergic drugs. So, in detail, uh, to mention few of the important questions, you need to know about OPC poisoning and cholinesterase reactivators. And also you should know about anticholinergic drugs and their uses especially. Uh, it will correlate with uh, atropin uses and toxicities. Uh, atropin substitutes, you, all, you should know about them also. Skeletal muscle relaxants, succinyl choline and also in detail about centrally acting muscle relaxants are an important question. Uh, moving on to the adrenergic system, uh, you need to know about the basics of adrenaline and especially since you are a dental student, you should know about adrenaline in dentistry, how it is mixed with LA and uh, how is it is uh, how it acts as an emergency drug, you should know about that. Uh, beta blockers, uh, you should know the classification, uh, propanolol can be as asked as an essay separately, atinolol can be asked as a short note. Dopamine can also be asked. Regarding classification of drugs, whenever you see a topic like uh, anticholinergic drugs or cholinergic drugs, you should know the classification whether we mention it or not. It can be asked at any time. Any classification can be asked at any time. The classifications which I am mentioning here are those which have been asked in the past by that particular university. Uh, moving on to the next chapter, shock. Treatment of anaphylactic shock has been asked, uh, but in detail you should know about shock, the types and the drugs used in cardiogenic shock also has been asked. ORS is oral rehydration salts which is used in hypovolemic shock especially. And uh, moving on to the chapter on alcohol, uh, disulfiram has been asked as a 5 mark question. You should also know about drugs which will cause disulfiram like reaction for example metronidazole. Uh, moving on to the next chapter on opioids, uh, opioids and uh, non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs both are painkillers. First, uh, seeing about opioids and analgesics, so you need to know about uh, cl the classification of opioids. Morphine can be asked as an essay. Uh, mechanism of action, uses and adverse effects will go in hand when you learn as uh, an essay. Uh, fentanyl, uh, codeine, pentazoskine. Uh, naloxone which is an opioid antagonist uh, all these drugs are uh, asked as five mark questions in the past regarding um, when you learn about certain drugs in the same uh, class of drugs you need to know that the features and the uses uh, will mostly be similar you need to highlight the difference between um, codeine and morphine for example so you need to know the differences between two drugs especially uh, uh, apart from that the uses, adverse effects uh, uh, and uh, uh, disadvantages uh, mostly will be similar in all the classes of drugs. 
moving on to the next class of uh, analgesics that is non steroidal anti inflammatory drugs shortly known as nsaids um, uh, you need to know about classification for sa uh, in sa they can ask about to classify nsaids and write in detail about paracetamol classify nsaids and write in detail about aspirin similarly about ibuprofen also can be asked when knowing about paracetamol you should know also know about paracetamol poisoning Ketorolac can be asked as a 5 mark, mefenamic acid as a 5 mark, COX-2 inhibitors and selective COX-2 inhibitors have also been asked. Moving on to the next chapter on anesthesia, general anesthesia, though it is not common in dentistry, it, though it is not as common as local anesthesia in dentistry, you will also receive certain questions on general anesthesia as uh, professionals including oral maxillofacial surgeons and uh, pediatricians will generally deal with general anesthesia. Uh, though you are not going to administer all these drugs to patient as a doctor it is your duty to know about these drugs therefore you are being tested in the second year of your bds for these drugs uh, on how much you know about it and you will also know about these drugs while preparing for neat pg that is neat mds you need to know uh, you need to be strong in your basic science subject always so general anesthesia classify general anesthesia uh, halothin as an sa can be asked ketamine and pre anesthetic medications uh, mnemonic is there like 6a if you want to know more about uh, uh, pre anesthetic medications or any other topic in specific you can especially comment below so that the next video could be on that topic moving on to the next uh, bigger chapter local anesthesia Uh, classify local anesthesia and techniques in uh, techniques in LA can be asked as an essay. Uh, to be specific uh, and techniques in uh, intraoral local anesthesia, you could refer your oral maxillofacial surgery book also. For example, uh, Malamed has written a book on uh, local anesthesia, especially though it is more for a second year BDS student. Uh, uh, specific questions like what adrenaline does in LA or what is what are the techniques intraorally used. Uh, so those kind of questions can be addressed uh, in the book of um, malamed uh, lignocaine xylocaine or lidocaine the most commonly used local anesthesia and dental practice will be asked as a five mark question for you adverse effects of lignocaine both uh, systemic and local effects you should know difference between lignocaine and cocaine can also be asked uh, though it is asked very rarely moving on to the next chapter on central nervous system we saw about ans autonomic nervous system now cns central nervous system here benzodiazepines have been asked as an essay frequently uh, to answer any essay you should know about the classification and uh, mechanism of action of the prototype drug use adverse drug reactions and antidote for the poisoning of that particular drug diazepam which goes in hand with benzodiazepines uh, sedative hypnotics uh, which is a broader term for benzodiazepines and barbiturates uh, migraine uh, the prophylaxis and therapy of migraine have been asked as a five mark uh, and you should also know about anti epileptic drugs uh, phenytoin phenytoin is famous for uh, in dentistry for causing a uh, drug induced gingival enlargement uh, so you should also be uh, aware of that adverse effect and you should mention that in phenytoin also uh, carbamazepine can be asked as a five mark question sodium valproate and a treatment of status epileptic is Moving on to the next chapter on antihistamines, H1 blockers, H2 blockers have been asked. H2 blockers will be dealt in GIT chapter. Here, H1 blockers are more important. Uh, second generation antihistamines are also should uh, uh, concentrated here, especially cetirizine and levocetirizine, which is common in day to day life. So you should know about those drugs. Uh, moving on to the respiratory system drugs used in bronchial asthma the classification is important when it is an essay glucocorticoids in asthma their uses and their uh, contraindications uh, should be learnt theophylline which is the methyl xanthine uh, salbutamol uh, should be learnt uh, and uh, in glucocorticoids you should also know about inhalation steroids which is more common moving on to the next chapter on gastrointestinal tract uh, drugs used in peptic ulcer have been asked uh, which includes uh, two or three drugs um, and uh, two or three class of drugs uh, proton pump inhibitors have been asked as an essay mechanism of action adv advantages and adverse effects uses will also go hand in hand when asked as an essay H2 antihistamines, as I said in the previous chapter on antihistamines or autocoids, um, here uh, H2 antihistamines are uh, will be dealt in GIT chapter. Ranitidine especially can be asked as a five mark question. 
when you talk about git the other common illness like uh, vomiting or diarrhea so the drugs to treat them antiemetics uh, which includes ondansetron metoclopramide and domperidone uh, prokinetic drugs have also been asked as a five mark question moving on to the cvs cardiovascular system uh, calcium channel blockers which include amlodipine nifedipine which is again famous for causing drug induced gingival enlargement or overgrowth um, and the here uh, as far as pharmacology is considered you should know the mechanism of action uses and uh, at disadvantages also nitroglycerin or glycerol trinitrate uh, sublingual nitroglycerin which is a life saving drug you should know about that ace inhibitors captopril ramipril Mm, you could uh, remember ac inhibitors by the uh, uh, suffix uh, pril okay similarly you should also know about the drug which ends with uh, sartan as a suffix uh, angiotensin receptor blockers are those drugs um, cardio selective beta blockers though we saw about beta blockers in the chapter on anti adrenergic drugs uh, here cardio selective beta blockers will also be dealt in cardiovascular system digoxin an important drug alkaloid which is used in treatment of congestive heart failure and treatment of mi that is myocardial infarction it is both important theoretically and also as a doctor for practical aspect you should know about it renal system is the next chapter which we will deal now potassium sparing diuretics are an important five mark question loop diuretics and thiazide diuretics are different classes of drugs to speak about individual drugs they can ask about furosemide spironolactone as a separate five mark questions moving on to the next bigger chapter blood you should know about iron preparation uh, which are used in anemic conditions anti platelet drugs low dose aspirin clopidogrel are commonly asked separate questions fibrinolytics streptokinase are also important questions low molecular weight heparin coagulants and also anticoagulants so don't uh, confuse between the two questions when asked you should also know about coagulants and uh, should differentiate it between the anticoagulants vitamin k have been asked the antidote for vitamin k has also been asked local hemostatics toxicology refers to poisoning of drugs okay you should know about desferoxamine and dimercarprol desferoxamine is used in iron or aluminium poisoning dimercarprol is also known as british anti leucite you should know for which drug poisoning it is given or which metal poisoning it is given uh, chemotherapy is the another major huge chapter in uh, pharmacology uh, chemotherapy is divided uh, into um, cancer chemotherapy uh, introduction is given in general chemotherapy where you should know about certain uh, specific questions like uh, failure of antimicrobial therapy or post antibiotic effect but before that you should have an idea about what includes chemotherapy all the antibiotics and antibacterial drugs anti fungal anti amoebic drugs will be dealt in chemotherapy chapter beta lactam antibiotics we what we commonly use such as uh, amoxicillin or uh, amoxicillin plus clavulinate uh, uh cefixim all those drugs come under uh, beta lactam antibiotics uh, so the classification is more important here uh, the first uh, uh, antibiotic that is the penicillin so you should know about uh, penicillin in detail penicillin g have been asked as an essay amoxicillin has been uh, many times asked as an essay the bacterial spectrum uses uh, in uh, dental infections also uh, and what is the role of clavulinic acid Uh, in uh, amoxicillin uh, that is a uh, uh, anti beta lactamase uh, so you should know about that uh, semi synthetic penicillin have also been asked uh, broad spectrum antibiotics which include uh, tetracycline and chloramphenicol uh, erythromycin azithromycin uh, which comes under macrolides have been asked as five mark questions uh, aminoglycosides have been asked as an essay once cephalosporins are also essay the most tricky part here is the classification cephalosporins classification is a very tricky one with because all the names sound similar uh, you will feel like you have entered a land of uh, twins and uh, um, so to memorize them you need to definitely use certain mnemonics to remember them uh, ceph trioxone ceph uroxime as you could see all these are cephalosporins uh, they have also been asked as uh, five mark questions separately cortrimoxazole fluoroquinolone so for example ciprofloxacin have been asked as a five mark question antifungal drugs topical antifungal drugs uh, which includes ketoconazole fluconazole nystatin 
uh, and uh, TB drugs especially rifampicin dots therapy also asked zidovudin uh, nrti inhibitors all are uh, treatment for uh, uh, aids antiviral drugs they are also asked uh, uh, harrth highly active anti retroviral therapy heart have also been asked uh, in general art have also been asked you should also know about anti amoebic drugs uh, metronidazole uh, is another important drug used in dentistry chloroquine and anti malarial drug have also been asked so moving on to the cancer chemotherapy part you should know about uh, chemotherapy of malignancy methotrexate have been asked as an essay adverse drug reaction of anti cancer drugs toxicity of anti cancer drugs have been asked uh, moving on to the uh, uh, before that in anti viral chapter you have also asked uh, they have also been asked about acyclovir and other anti viral drugs so you should also know about that uh, so moving on to the chapter on endocrine anti diabetics come under this chapter insulin uh, can be differentiated into human insulin or other types of insulin newer insulin can be, uh, have also been asked as a five mark question uh, anti diabetic drugs especially glimepiride metformin sulfonylureas have been asked uh, other uh, endocrine system that is hydrocortisone have been asked as an essay the use and the adverse effects steroids anabolic steroids um, and the use in uh, sports misuse in uh, misuse of steroids have also been asked uh, miscellaneous drugs include uh, like uh, calcium preparation vitamin c ascorbic acid vitamin b12 antioxidant vitamins immunosuppressants all these drugs have been asked uh, frequent not so frequently but they are important drugs uh, so in a dental pharmacology which is unique for uh, dental students alone uh, these are uh, many of them uh, many of these drugs are used clinically so you need to know about them like local hemostatics you prescribe mouthwash to patients uh, so what is the common mouthwash prescribed chlorhexidine for example dentrifices that is the toothpaste or tooth powder you should also know about uh, astringents styptics obtundents and antiseptics in use clinically and also about emergency drugs in dentistry which includes almost uh, the main drugs which we saw in the previous uh, chapters so it is easy to remember them once you learnt once you have learnt all the other uh, chapters uh, so we saw about uh, certain topics uh, which will be uh, potentially asked in your exams though the topics which i have mentioned now will not cover all the uh, chapters all the questions which may be asked they cover almost 50 to 75% of the questions or topics to be covered so once you go through this you can be sure that you have covered 50% of your syllabus though it is uh, particularly from tnmgr university the syllabus uh, of dci correlates uh, is similar to all therefore the questions also uh, overlaps with other universities so you could be uh, confidently preparing from these set of questions uh, and again there are many more important questions yes there are many more important questions but if i mention all those questions then again this collection of questions will sound like uh, uh, repeating the book what you have in your book okay so i have concisely prepared certain questions alone uh, pre preparing from this list of questions will uh, be your initial phase in preparation once you have thoroughed yourself with this set of questions uh, kindly move to other important questions which could be potentially asked to score more marks so if you want any topic in particular to be dealt in detail kindly mention in the comments so see you soon in the next video with the next set of important topic thank you